It's often the case that we're interested in calculating some summary statistics and we don't want to have to enter a formula for each one of those. So for example, I might want to find the average, the standard deviation, the range, and some other statistics. And um, I would like to do that in one shot if I can. And I might want to do it on several variables at a time as well. So Excel has a tool that allows us to do it. It calculates what are known as the descriptive statistics for the data set. In this case, I'm going to use a data set that I've used before. It comes from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. What we have here are uh, some times associated with flights in September 2011 on Delta Airlines. The arrival airport was Salt Lake City. The departure air airport in all of these cases happened to be Atlanta. So in this case, I have three variables related to these flights. I have how long the flight was supposed to take, how long the flight actually took, and then how uh, long after the scheduled arrival time the flight actually arrived. And a negative number means that the flight arrived early. All right, so we're going to find the descriptive statistics on these three variables. And the way to get started is to go to the data ribbon. So I'll choose data and then data analysis. I am then presented with this list of analysis tools that I can use. And uh, they're alphabetical. The tool that I want to use is called descriptive statistics. So I will choose that, say OK. And I'm presented with this dialog box. Uh, it asks me that for the input range, meaning the set, set of data I would like to analyze. It asks me if my data uh, values are grouped by columns or rows. It asks me if I have a label in my input range. And then it asks about the output. And it asks, first of all, where I would like the output to go. And I have three options. And then I have a few other options that, um, uh, in terms of what it will report when it's all done. In this case, then, what I'd like to do is I would like to analyze all three of the variables that I have in this data set. Schedule lapse time, actual lapse time, and the arrival delay. So I'm going to highlight from A1 over to C1, and then do Control shift down arrow to find the bottom of the data. So that says that I'm going to analyze A1 to C237. My data are in columns. So I leave that as the default value. Uh, my input data starts with row 1. And that row is a label row. So I will click this box, labels in first row. I'm going to tell the output to go to a new worksheet, which I will call descriptive statistics. Actually, I'll shorten it, descriptive stats. And then I'm going to tell it that I would like to have the output show me the summary statistics. In another um, video, I'll show what, what we do if we want to find a confidence interval using this tool. But for now, the only option I'm going to choose in terms of the output is the summary statistics. All right, so I'm done with this uh, dialog box. I'll say OK. It creates the new worksheet and puts the results on that new worksheet. So it called it what I asked, descriptive stats. Now, the, unfortunately, it doesn't format the data very well. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all six of these columns where output has gone. And then I'm going to double click. It doesn't matter which border, but double click on a border between two of the columns. And that makes then the columns as large as they need to be. The other thing I don't like particularly about this is that it report, repeats the label uh, column for as many variables as there uh, are here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the labels over. So in fact, I'm going to cut them and then paste them here in next door where they are currently. And then I am going to remove column C, which is a repeat of the labels. So I'll delete that one. And then I'm going to do the same thing for column D. Delete that. And then I'm going to do that same trick again to get these columns to be the 
the width that I want them. So, in fact, I'll highlight A through D and double click on the border between A and B. And now each of the four columns that I have is large enough, wide enough to show all of the, uh, the labels and the, the numbers. So we can see that this, the average time for the scheduled flight time was 200, almost 245 minutes. The actual elapsed time was slightly less than that on average, 237. And the average delay was actually that they arrived on uh, a little bit early, three minutes early just about on average. We also can see that the scheduled elapsed time had a lot less spread in it than the uh, actual elapsed time, quite a bit bigger standard deviation, and the arrival day ha delay had even a larger standard deviation, so it had the most spread of any of the variables. We can see a few other things. We can see that there were 236 numbers in the data set. We can see the minimum and the maximum for each of the variables, so in particular the earliest flight was 37 minutes early. The longest delay was 221 minutes, which was a lot, very large delay. And there are a few other summary statistics that are available here.